What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Aiden's World of Sports. I'm here with my first repeat guest. You guys saw his video about a month and a half, two months ago, but he's back again. If you want to take another second to introduce yourself for the people who are new here, go ahead. What's going on? I'm Brendan Summerhill, Arizona baseball commit from Chicago, Illinois. Go to Whitney Young High School. Yeah. And so, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go right into it. You said Arizona baseball commit. But you, you might have a big decision come uh, July where you just attended just recently the Super 60 for prep baseball. And uh, that's 60 of the best players in the, in the country go to this event and compete in front of just MLB scouts. And, uh, you know, the main goal really is to get your name on that draft board in spring. And from, you know, you did really well at that event and you're looking at potentially getting drafted so you know if you do what are you looking at for that choice I mean what what's it looking like right now and what are you thinking about it it's definitely a big decision yeah for sure you know it's just like it's awesome man like being able to experience it and enjoy the process um you know talk about it with my family and seeing what's best for us not just for me and you know at the end of the day Whatever I feel is best. I'm plans always to go to college. Plan is to always, you know, do my do my time at U of A. But uh, you know, if someone makes a tough decision for me. We'll see what happens there. But I I really look forward to getting to U of A. You know, that's that's the dream. Yeah, and I mean, we spoke about in the last time I had you on just the change from you know it was just recently after you committed to U of A and you know for people who are new you decommitted from Kentucky and you kind of got a feel for U of A and you know you ended up there which is awesome but I mean you know that's a huge decision and I I know an MLB scout who I've spoke to a little bit about and yeah I mean your name is rising up a lot of teams draft boards and and just it's you know it's something that I don't know maybe before the spring you know it was something that you didn't really think would happen so soon and definitely I know I've spoken to you a little bit about it before, just like privately, but you had, you had the plan to get drafted and get there, but I don't know if anyone really saw it coming so soon out of high school. And I think that that's something that, you know, amazing for you. And I mean, you know, you're a Cubs fan. <laughs> if the Cubs select you, is that decision any less tough? Yeah. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, playing be, be the hometown here would just be unbelievably awesome playing at the north side at Wrigley. But, uh, I mean, you know, I think, yeah, it, it would make it a little more tough just because, you know, the Cubs are also historic. Playing at Wrigley is just, prop, my my opinion, the nicest ballpark in America. Um, but, obviously, Yankee fans would say something else. Um, no, I just think it'd be uh, – um, no, it's it's surreal. Like I think that'd be that would be a dream come true, especially as a kid, like four years old, picking up a bat, like watching, you know, Derek Lee and Alfonso Soriano, for those who know who that is, old time Cubs. legend. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's just like what what it's about and enjoying everything, just just wanting to play and have fun and be a kid, you know. It's not really about, you know, where I'm gonna be in five years. It's just about living in the now, having fun. Making because if you can't have fun while you're playing baseball, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, and I mean nobody said it better. Honestly, I think that you know it does. It doesn't matter. You know, eventually you'll get to where you want to be, and you know you'll get to your goals. But having fun is something that you know everyone has to have, whether they're playing baseball or whether they're sitting in an office. And so, I mean, it looks like you're having fun this year. The numbers say you're batting six seventeen. Uh, you have a, almost two thousand OPS. I mean, talk about talk about what's been going on this season. What's your approach been to that? Because those are some yeah, so, real numbers. I don't know. Like this offseason, I put in a lot of work. You know, just more confidence in my abilities, being a little more smooth to the ball, violence but controlled, and obviously getting bigger in the weight room. That's that's a huge thing. But I don't know. I just like you know always confident. Never like oh, I'm looking for this pitch. You know, if, if I if a pitcher throws me something I can handle, I'm gonna hit it and. I don't know, just crush every ball, hit it to all parts of the field, and you know, hopefully I get lucky and it drops. And that's kind of just been the story of the season. Been finding holes and, yeah. I mean, you, you've also been finding holes in the bleachers and whatever 
parks you're playing at four home runs uh 18 games you're i i mean at the top of almost every single category in the state of in the state of <laughs> illinois i mean talk, talk to me about you know how that's been how that's been for your team because you know obviously baseball is just that team sport and you guys have been killing it so talk about what your production has just been for everyone else on the team because it seems like you guys are all feeding off of it yeah so last year um we had we had six wins total last year it's brutal like I thought I had a great season but you know this year it's just like all about the team everything's about the team you know I don't want to like personal success is going to come and that's obviously an important thing but if you go four 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 bombs and lose like that four, four, four bombs and a win just feels so much better because you know, like what you did was like, it helped the team win. Like it, it's going to show in the win in the win column, but yeah, like the team is, we're having fun. Like we're playing our best baseball. We got our rivals coming up this Friday. It's going to be an electric game, electric atmosphere. Um, and you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes, but I think I'm really confident about it. I'm really confident in our guys because We've worked all off season together, building our chemistry versus last year was different. We had five, five days of practice before we could play because of COVID. So, I mean, nothing against the team last year. We were great, great group of guys and we worked hard for the most part, but we're just a little more serious this year. And we're, we all know what we can do. We all know we got a chance to be special. And that's what, uh, that's kind of what we've been feeding off of. Like, obviously it's all about the journey, but you know, we all want to win that championship. We all want to win the city of Chicago city championship. And, you know, that's, that's where I think we're going to be playing at Wrigley to compete for that little preview of what's to come. Maybe hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, for sure. And you know, uh, you talk about MLB and, and your hopes of getting there. Talk about what's been going on this year. You, have you been watching anything? Have you been keeping in touch with any, you know, players, scouts, what have you heard personally? Cause I know what I've heard and seen. Talk about yeah, so you've been, um you've been this offseason actually, my facility I went and worked out at, you know, Nico Horner, Jake Cronenworth, Jason Hayward, Yasmani Grandal, like that was like a hitting group. Like they were there every morning to oh Jason Kipnis as well. Um they were all there and it was like super cool, like watching those guys work. Um I don't know, it's just like being around that is something like I've never really like been like so up close and personal every day before. But being around them really showed me, like, what the difference between the work ethic of a high schooler and how when a high schooler goes into hit every day, it's kind of just, like, nonchalant, you know. If it's a good day, it's a good day. If it's a bad day, if it's a bad day, whatever, they move on. Same with the pro guys, but they're just so electrically focused on their craft every single day that they leave and they're emotionally worn out that they don't want to play baseball the rest of the day because they just took whatever they were doing so seriously and that was kind of for me like wow like you know obviously that's what separates them not because there's so many skilled guys out there there's so many guys with five tools there's so many guys with you know the ability but what's going to separate you like is it going to be your work ethic or is it going to be your focus or is it going to be your leadership and you know that's something that I've really like taken passion on especially this year because like I understand there's so many kids out there that are like that have five tools that have the ability to run throw hit so I got to be a little bit different in, in that sense. Yeah. And I mean, kind of led into my next question. What do you, what do you think that, you know, your next step to improvement is that will help you stand out from everyone. And you spoke about a little bit of it with the, you know, the mental and the work ethic. And I think, you know, it's so important. 90% of baseball is mental and, and mm -hmm. 10% is just, you know, being there and showing up and right. so talk about, Maybe in that 10%, because a lot of people see baseball and, and they're not playing it at your level and, you know, they're not analyzing it the way people like I do. So talk about that in a sense that, you know, people who just watch the game on TV would understand. And what do you think can get you to that next level that could separate you from everyone else? Absolutely. So this is actually something I take a lot of pride in because, you know, Obviously, clearly, I've had a lot of success this year with the stats, and obviously, at some point, like baseball, you're not gonna you're not gonna hit six fifteen or six twenty or whatever I'm hitting, and you're not gonna, you know, just like light the world on fire every day, week, or month, or even season. Um, so you know, once I make that jump to wherever it is where the competition gets a lot better, and you know, pitchers know what they're really trying to do, 
when I get that slump where I go over 30, over 20 with a bunch of strikeouts, how am I going to carry myself? And w- can I still carry myself like I'm four for four and I just went deep? That's kind of where you see the difference. And I see it with, you know, you watch the pros. Like, Wilson Contreras is someone I notice a lot because he he came into the league, like, really good hitter, but, like, didn't realize how much of a struggle, like, catching is 100, 162 games. And being the captain of the Cubs now, like, that leader, because he's that one core guy that's been there, him and Hayward. But, you know, just being able to carry yourself, same routine, same same look on your face, same idea of what you're trying to do in the box, no matter what has happened, is what I've really been working on. And I feel like I haven't been able to test myself that much because of, you know, the success I've been having. So I'm, I'm excited to see when I fail, if I if what I've been working on is – will come to fruition yeah and honestly i mean that's that's one of the best answers uh, that anyone can give it's like you're you're very well spoken and i've talked I've, I've told you that after the first interview we did and I, I mean i really like you've hit on every point i've had to make honestly i've i was looking into this like i was ready you you asked me to do this a month ago i was like yes 100 percent yeah my back and I mean, now the only question I have left is I'm going to post this tomorrow so you could get a chance to promote this for your guys. What do you have to say for guys for about your game on Friday? You want anything to say, promote it, something? Yeah, I mean, you know, Lane Tech, we're coming. We haven't beat you since 2013, but we're coming. Um, we get a shot at you Friday and Monday. I think, you know, they've told me they think they're going to cakewalk all over us. I think no. Like, I think – we're much better. We're ready this year. We're ready to beat you guys. And I think we got a whole team that will come out and do it. But obviously, all the respect to you guys because you guys work just as hard as us, and I'm excited to play. All right. And and you heard it there. Uh, Lane, Lane Tech, is that it? Yeah, Lane Tech. Lane Tech. Uh, the Dolphins guys, are yeah. coming. The Dolphins, uh, Dolphins are, coming. are coming. I'm a Dolphins fan now, I guess. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Didn't think I'd ever say that. <laughs> I'd ever yes, say those sir. words. <laughs> all right. Ends up. Fins up, fins, fins up. up. I would, you know, I, I'll keep in touch for sure. I gotta have you back on, and I'll well, definitely, you know, part three for sure. I love for having sure, you on. This for thing. Sure, this is awesome. Sure. Sounds good. And you know, once once you get that call, well, I'll be texting you. Don't worry. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Thank you so much right, for man. coming on once again. Yeah, yeah for sure. See you guys, I'll talk Brendan to you. Summerhill and Aiden's World of Sports will be back again as always. Peace. Peace.